Alright, this is going to be a review on the Master Morphics. Okay, I guess just first off, I'll talk about the shape of it. I believe it's a um, pillow tetrahedron or some kind of Rulux tetrahedron. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's what I would estimate the pronunciation should sound like. Um, uh, yeah, after talking about the shape, it turns very well. It turns on six axes, which um, are going to be six of these. So essentially, it's just an um, edge-turning pyramid, I would say, with the center. Well, this isn't really center, it's a corner, but I'll get into that later. Um, yeah, like I said, very nice turning. I would say the turning is like an Ishin 4x4, if I would have to compare it to something. Um, this one has um, completely golden stickers and a white body. You could also get one that has gray stickers and a black body. The um, stickers um, are like little strands of fibers, I would say, that have a um, silver, um, not silver, gold outer coating on them. And they, they're, um, I guess, textured, I would say. And I don't know, for some reason, the cube just feels slippery. Well, it's not a cube, but this feels slippery. I don't know why. After, like, messing with it a while, it just starts to, I don't know, just slippery. But, um, yeah, stickers are pretty good. Um, this one's a bit chipped or something like that. Maybe not sticking down right there, but nothing to complain about. And this one's maybe a bit off. I mean, like, off the, um, center... It should be it should be about right there and it's like turning that way a little. And that one too, and one of these um pieces, yeah, this one. The sticker barely fits onto the um piece right there. The mechanism is a three by three. And this is how this is the top layer. This part in the middle layer is this part. So turning a cube like this is the same as turning a master morphics like this. This is a center. This is a center. This is an edge. This is an edge. This is a corner. These two are corners. And this is an edge and another center. So with that in mind, you could predict that this thing could change a lot of shape since both these are corners this could take this one's place and you're right um and this thing could make all sorts of shapes like I could make some kind of like um very neat looking thing where I could swap this and this make it like that and some kind of like concussion I don't know and then this one like completely sticks out it's real neat um So that means that um, all corners could take places of other corners and all edges could flip. Um, I'll do some size comparisons before I get into the mechanism. This is a um, comparison to a 6x6. I would say the height is about the same. Here's a, a ruler. I would say it's almost the same. Oops. And um, now I'll get into quality of these. I mean, like, when you're buying yours and comparing yours to mine. Um, actually, I have two right here. This one was a um, gray one I restickered partially, three sides. And I want to talk about turning. Like, I don't know what they could vary, I, I would say. Getting um, a good turning Massamorphics is equivalent to getting a good turning 3x3 three three at your local Walmart. Now, I'll show you the mechanism. Okay, after getting apart, you can see how it resembles a 3x3. Three three. Center, edge, corner, another corner, uh, 
center, I guess. I already said center, but um, I'll just say it again. So, um, actually, underneath, um, on these centers, underneath this cap is a screw, and these are caps. So, I guess if you wanted to, you might be able to adjust it, but I'm not sure if they're adjustable. I mean, I'm just saying if you want to, you could maybe look inside and see if it's possible. I'm not sure. Um, I guess this basically concludes it. Um, you could buy this from Rubik's Fans or Cube for you. And they're about $22.